Welcome to another After Effects stop motion tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how to add motion blur to your stop motions to make the motion a bit more natural, a bit more convincing. As you can see, we've got some nice motion blur going on on this car here. This is all added after the fact. The original pictures, of course, have no motion blur as you can see here. So this is what the original composition looked like. Now, in my previous tutorial, I showed you how to use motion interpolation found in that column there to create some in-between frames that make the motion more smooth. And so just keep in mind that we have that on for this shot. We are using motion interpolation here to make the motion more smooth. And to add pixel motion blur, all you need to do is go here and search for pixel motion blur, grab it, drag it onto your composition, and After Effects will begin processing new frames with some nice motion blur turned on. Now, it is a bit slow to start, so I would recommend only turning this on near the end, probably not cranking up the settings until the end. And what the settings do is they just increase the quality of the motion blur here. So if I go up to full resolution here, take a second to render that, and then if I increased the shutter samples, it really just make the motion blur look more crisp and more realistic. Just as an example, I took the time to render out one frame difference here, here we have five shutter samples. We go up to 25. You can see it looks a lot smoother there and a lot more convincing. So be sure to tune that up right before you export um, because it'll take a long time to render, but it will look pretty good. So just like motion interpolation, it looks really good for this shot, but I wanna take a step back and talk about shots that it won't look good for. First of all, we're using motion interpolation to make the shot more smooth. But if I did not have motion interpolation on, the motion blur would look quite a bit different. So as you can see, as it renders out, the motion blur is gonna look a lot less steady. It's gonna look a lot more choppy because the footage is now more choppy. There are repeat frames in there. Each frame is not a brand new picture like it was with motion interpolation turned on. And so as I play that, you can see we get the sort of choppy look that I'm not a fan of. I think having motion blur on for a shot like this looks worse. I see this in a lot of stop motions and I'm not a fan of it. I'm only a fan of having motion blur on if the source material under it is very smooth at top frame rate and makes the motion blur really work because without motion interpolation on this shot, as clean and simple as it is, I don't think it's doing a very good job and it's kind of hurting the stop motion. Whereas if I turn on motion interpolation, it looks a lot better. Taking a look at another shot, here we have Optimus Prime driving across a much more complex surface. This is the same shot I showed before. And in this shot, each frame is a brand new picture. So this is as smooth as this shot can be, so to speak. And we will add the pixel motion blur to this shot. And as you can see, just like motion interpolation, we're going to be getting a lot of artifacts. So I'll scrub through it here for a moment and then try to zoom in to show you that motion blur is not only affecting the truck, which is the actual thing moving, but the surface around it because the shot is just too complex for this effect. After Effects doesn't actually know, you know, that the truck is the only thing that's supposed to be moving. It's just trying to detect changes in the pixels and add blur to that. So as we can see here, it's adding a lot of distortion to the surface. There's some distortion going on even on the sides here. And yeah, this is just not a good shot for either motion interpolation or motion blur, unfortunately. So motion blur is not perfect, just like motion interpolation, and should be used selectively in my opinion. And finally, I'll take you back to this shot that I also showed in the last motion interpolation video. Uh, in this shot, I talked about how at the beginning, I didn't really like motion interpolation because if we go in here, you can see some very weird, ugly artifacts here that don't look natural to me, especially in these panels around Optimus Prime's arm as he's transforming here. Motion interpolation is creating some very unnatural looking frames here, especially this frame right here. And I'm just not a fan of it. I've turned it on here just for the sake of showing you what you can do with uh, pixel motion blur on a shot like this. So if we turn on pixel motion blur, it helps a little bit, I think. It, it smooths it out. It's not as jagged and awkward looking. If I turn it on and off here, you can see that it at least gives the illusion of motion a little bit more by virtue of adding a blur. So if I play that, I think it looks a little bit better than without pixel motion blur on. But just like I said with the last shot, I'd probably rather not have it at least at the beginning of that shot there. I just wanted to show you that example because sometimes there's a shot where motion interpolation won't look amazing, 
but pixel motion blur might hide the imperfections. And again, we have a pixel motion blur on some very low settings here. If I were to turn the shutter samples up even more to something like 50 say, it's going to smooth out and make these awkward interpolation frames look even better. And I'm still at quarter resolution here. So if I were to turn that to full resolution, it would take quite a long time to render, but it would look even better. So hopefully between those three shots, you can see the power and the limitations of pixel motion blur. It's a very powerful and simple effect great way to make your animations look more natural and more convincing, but it is not perfect and probably shouldn't be used on every shot. So let me know what you think of the effect and be sure to stay tuned for more After Effects stop motion tutorials and more stop motion animations coming from my channel in the near future. Thanks for watching.